Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So over the next few weeks, we're going to be doing a series of special videos looking specifically at thread lifting. Now I know previously I've said that I'm not a fan of thread lifting. And I even said on a video a couple of years ago that it's not something that I would do anymore. I literally despise doing the treatment. Simply, I hate doing them. However, times change, people change, things change. And recently we've been using a new type of thread which has come over from Norway called Nordix. So what's the difference between these threads and the older type of threads? Ewan. Well, these threads are made of two separate materials combined. One of them is poly -L lactic acid and one of them is poly -caprolactone. Both of these materials individually have been used in theatres for operations as a suture material for a really long time. So we know that they're safe to use within the skin. So why has this company decided to combine the two materials together? Well, the polyelectric acid threads tended to be quite stiff and brittle and were quite prone to breaking when inserted into the skin, which obviously you don't want. Also, the PDO threads, which were also popular, don't have very good longevity. So in terms of longevity, why are these threads better? The studies have shown that this particular material retains a lot more of its lifting capacity, so almost twice that of PDO threads. Also, the degradation of the thread itself seems to be very, very minimal, even at 32 weeks. So what does that mean for our patients? Well, if you're using a thread to lift the face, it's called a suspension thread, it means you're going to get a lift for a lot longer than you would have with PDO. If you're using the threads for something like skin improvement, if the thread is staying in the tissues for longer, as your body breaks it down slowly, it's building its own collagen, elastin, hyaluronic acid. So your skin is going to look better because you're getting that collagen stimulation for a lot longer time. So in this particular brand, there are lots and lots of different types of thread and we've got lots of different applications for them. In this particular video, we're going to be looking at mid and lower face lifting using suspension threads. So broadly speaking, you're either gonna have a thread that's loaded onto a cannula or onto a double needle. They're pretty different and they're used for slightly different things. We'll use a cannula thread to usually lift the mid face, the cheek area, and we'll use a double needle to lift the lower face and try and help with the jowling. And we're gonna show you some clips of that in a second. We're using a cannula here because it's blunt on the end. As you can see, there is an entry point, but no exit point. With this particular brand, there are lots of different lengths of thread mounted on different sizes of cannula. And we select the length and diameter of the thread according to the area which we're trying to treat. The double needle is very similar to the Silhouette Soft, which was also mounted as a thread with two needles on either end of it. So the technique is not too dissimilar than that of using Silhouette Soft. However, I have found that when inserting this particular brand's double-ended needle, it travels through the tissue a lot more easily than the Silhouette Soft did. And that's because of the size and shape of the cogs around the thread. The thread is actually designed to have these three-dimensional cogs, which wind their way around the thread in a helical pattern, and they're designed to lift and basically suspend the tissues that they're engaged with. And why is that important? Well, linking everything back to our aging process, our cheek fat tends to shrink and our skin tends to get a little bit more loose and drop down. So we're really just redistributing that tissue back up where it used to be. For the full result from this type of thread, it actually takes about six months. And that's because of the collagen stimulation, which you'll experience post-treatment. However, you can see that there will be quite a good immediate improvement even so. One thing to really bear in mind when you're getting a suspension thread lift is that we overcorrect the tissues to begin with because we're expecting them to drop a little bit. They shouldn't drop back to their original position or we wouldn't do the treatment, of course, but we may overcorrect slightly to begin with to expect that to happen. So don't be alarmed if things are a little bit tighter when you first have the treatment than you might expect. One of the things that I didn't like about using Silhouette or some of the longer sutures was that often you'd get a flattening of the mid cheek. So instead of it uh, following the curvature of the cheek and creating um, more roundness here, it could sometimes make the cheek look a little bit flat. So Sarah, is everybody suitable for a thread lift? 
I would say no, not everyone is suitable for a thread lift. If you have a lot of lower face heaviness and laxity and you're really more of a surgical candidate, you're not gonna get a good result from having threads placed. You're asking too much of the treatment. Likewise, if somebody is too young and they don't have uh, that mild to moderate degree of laxity, there's not really much point in placing suspension threads in them. I always think of it when I see a patient and they come in and say they look in the bathroom mirror yeah. and they hoik the face back mm -hmm. like that. We're not going to get that with threads. Mm -hmm. But if someone's a bit more realistic and they just want a few millimetres of lift, that's something we can certainly do with threads mm -hmm. in the right cases. Okay guys, so that's it for this week. Next week we're going to be continuing on with our thread lift special and we're going to be talking about something which is really hot right now, which is the foxy eye look. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see you again next week. Bye bye. See you.